Daytona Beach, Florida was destined for speed. It is long, flat, and very firm. The sand is said to pack as hard as cement, a veritable mecca for speed demons. Daytona Beach is the location where 14 world land speed records have been set. Five of those records were set by Rolex wearer Sir Malcolm Campbell while driving his mighty Bluebird. In 1935, Campbell reached 276 miles per hour, some 445 kilometers per hour, on the beach of Daytona, the highest speed ever achieved there. In 1936, the action turned to stock car racing, with the introduction of the most spectacular race course in motorsports history, the Daytona Beach Road Course. It ran half on the beach and half on a narrow back road along the ocean. By the mid-1950s, plans were laid for a permanent track. A super speedway was built, featuring giant 31-degree bankings in the turns for maximum velocity. Inaugurated in 1959, it was called the Daytona International Speedway. It hosted its first sports car endurance race in 1962. A year later, Rolex introduced the Cosmograph. As the official timepiece of the Daytona International Speedway, it was soon renamed Cosmograph Daytona. In 1966, the race was extended to the same 24-hour length as the iconic Le Mans race. It became the longest endurance race in North America, and one leg of the informal triple crown of endurance racing, Daytona, Sebring, and Le Mans. In 1992, Rolex extended its involvement by becoming title sponsor of the 24-hour race. Since then, the event has been known as the Rolex 24 at Daytona, or simply the Rolex. Up to 60 cars in three different classes compete on the speedway at the Rolex 24. As a result, the track is occupied by vehicles traveling at different speeds, presenting unexpected and hair-raising challenges. With its unique combination of a banked speedway, road course, and its 12 hours of night driving, the Rolex 24 at Daytona is regarded by many champions to be the toughest endurance race to win. Today, Daytona retains the magic it possessed at the turn of the century. Although the surface is no longer sand, the quest for endurance, for speed, for breaking of new barriers lives on. <laughs>